Good morning, welcome to Outdoor Retailer Winter Market 2010 and the first day of Project OR. Today we're going to be walking the show floor where we have over 750 manufacturers and brands exhibiting their wares. We're gonna to talk to them, find out a little bit about what drives their design to help our designers as they compete in this important event. So who sponsors all of this? Project OR Cycle 4 is presented by 3M's Thinsulate and Scotchlight products. Let's go. All right. Uh, I'd like you to meet Casey Sheehan. He is the uh, president and CEO of Patagonia and one of the leading companies in our business. And you know, what we're really interested in is what guides design here at uh, uh, Patagonia and what makes it unique from other companies? Well, I think that um, the defining element of Patagonia's design kind of comes from our roots and hard goods. You know, great design is when there's nothing more to be taken away from, from the design itself. You'll notice when you look at some of our designs that, that you know, there's not an overload of pocketry or trim details or zippers going everywhere. Um, we try to just take off extraneous stuff. And then on the technical side, we um, are also inspired by nature. Well, Casey, thanks a lot. We love uh, the overview. Larry, thank you for Something thinking appreciate. of us. Appreciate it. And hope good luck to all of you with the project. Thank you. Have a great, great show. One thing that Jarris brought up, and you're going to see more and more as we continue on the tour, is that whole concept of form and function. You know, yeah, we want pretty, of course, but all of these people came to this through utility. If it didn't work, they died. Mountain Hardware will be a great example of that. Uh, pretty is bad when it's alone. Utility doesn't really work if you're trying to sell it to a consumer. So you have to really put it all together and have something pretty that really works. So I'd like you to meet Ted Gagno. Ted, you're the head of design and development. Uh, so tell us uh, uh, about that constant battle between utility and uh, uh, form, good looks. Function and fashion mm -hmm. colliding. It's no longer allowable to make a really functional piece that doesn't look really good. Designers spend a lot of time at their computer or you know wherever they came from and it's really important for the design team to understand what our athletes are up against. And Larry, you said it earlier, if some of our product die, uh, fails, somebody can die. And every piece we make, we don't know if we're gonna sell it to someone shopping in the mall or climbing in the Himalaya. We just have to make it all that good. Well, Ted, thank you very much. My pleasure. We appreciate good it. Good luck to you guys. Have fun. Remember, have fun. I'd like you to meet Steve. Uh, he runs Ex Officio. What are the guideposts in design here at Ex Officio? What drives you forward? Um, we started off actually as a number of engineers, um, not necessarily designers. And the interesting thing about that was really going out, finding a use, or something that we didn't have in our apparel that caused, or something that caused grief. And we started to engineer products that fit the way that our body moved, the activities that we did, and then most importantly, made it easier to pack. I'd like you to meet Beaver Theodosakis, the founder of Prana. How, how did the company start? Well, we started about 17 years ago. Uh, Pam and I were way into climbing and yoga, and we uh, thought there was a need out in the marketplace for something different. Something that had more street style, but could be very functional. It breaks down, you have uh, six designers, and then you have product developers, and then pre-production. Well, hi, uh, your name? I'm Jana Hunt. Jana, now, uh, what do you do at the North Face? I am design director for performance. Function is key to us. It's top priority at the North Face. Show us that in action here. Here's a running piece. Yes, this is um, our kinetics tight on the bottom. So we use a high stretch fabric that is compressive, so it supports your muscles, but it also stretches with your movements. There's mesh paneling for breathability. What's well, great to hear you uh, describe how you do it. It's wonderful to see how it actually ends up. Uh, we really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you, nice to meet you. We Al. appreciate it. Okay.
All right, here we are. This is the first day of Outdoor Retailer Winter Market 2010, and we have a fresh lineup of top design students from all around the country that are here to compete in a 48-hour design competition that'll go from concept to prototype in an actual outdoor functional garment. Nothing like this happening anywhere else, and only here at Outdoor Retailer do we have the universe of core outdoor brands, authentic outdoor stories combined with the supply story that brings the raw materials and componentry to the marketplace. You designers are gonna be faced with a task that's written down in this design brief here that will challenge you in two, less than two days really to be able to conceive of a, a product, bring your own sensibilities as a young designer to the table and then create something like you see around you that were created by other designers in past iterations of Project OR. I would like to uh, hand out the design brief. I'm hopeful to see some excitement, be creative, be willing to just stretch out. Good luck to you all, and uh, may, the, may the sharpest design win. What we have to do is we have to create an outerwear jacket for a woman, and it's gotta be functional, meaning she could take it on the mountains doing various active sports, but she's gotta be able to wear it to dinner at the same time. Hi, my name is Pam Thetisakis. I'm from Prana, and I am the lead judge for Project OR this year. We have just given the designers a design brief. They went back to their drawing tables, came up with a sketch, an idea. There are fabrications that they want to use, um, and if they can execute it is what we're going to see. But these are judged now to see how much they've followed through on the design brief. Hi guys, it's nice to meet you guys today and present in front of you. Um, from the design brief that we got earlier, I was very excited when I read that it was about functionality, performance, femininity, all put into one. Hi, I'm Faith Anderson. I'm from Philadelphia University. And for the design brief today, I wanted to design something, obviously, for a woman that is uh, wearable, but also functional and aesthetic. Um, for my color palette, I chose a simple gray because I think when you go to a restaurant or anywhere, just a simple dark color is very sleek, very pretty. So my design is, I went more towards a sleek look and then the outside having just one complete look and then the inside being where you're really gonna have your function going on. I started off with thinking about the female form uh, because at the end of the day, what do all women want? A woman wants to feel beautiful. Uh, and then I also thought about, okay, you're on the slopes, you're in the cold, uh, let's think about injury. What, what are, what's most likely to come in contact with something that could harm you? Uh, so what I've decided to do is kind of create an armor, but an armor you can move in. Hello everybody, um, I'm Mark Pimentel from Oregon State University. Um, and I will be presenting um, my concept here. Um, and I went with the theme, um, Tech Chic. I wanted to embrace technology. Um, I created this um, cool, um, I call it a tech pocket or a security pocket also because there's a window on the outside where you could see if somebody's calling, you can cha like change the song on your iPod, but it's closed and there's no access to it. And, and what's cool is with this asymmetrical design, you're able to unzip it open partially so you're not exposing your body to the elements when you need to take your phone out. So there's access from the inside, so partially zipping it open halfway, just a little bit to get the access inside. It also will zip up the front, up through the collar, so you can pull the collar all the way up for insulation on your neck. And it's gonna have insulated arm, arm sleeves with cuff so that you can, you're really gonna be able to hold in the moisture there. So we had a very hard time because this is a great group of designers, um, very talented, all really fun, um, creative, great ideas. It's hard to pick one, but we, um, we picked Lauren and um, we just believe that she followed it closest to the design brief. And um, we think that, uh, think that you nailed it. So congratulations. Yeah, but all of you are fabulous and each and every idea is brilliant.